Hello everybody, Andrew Majewski here with Dental L. So let's talk about different teeth concerns or tooth issues that you might be having, but you don't really know, is this a dental emergency? Is this something that can wait? Is this just something that I have to use a different toothpaste and that will be fine? So I'll talk about those a little bit, but I do have to say, I can't tell you 100% without actually seeing you. So this video is more for advice, but not for, you know, take my word for it, if that makes sense. Okay. So number one would definitely be if you have cold sensitive teeth. So if you're sitting there like, oh my God, my teeth are so cold sensitive, what is happening? No tooth likes cold. That is normal. But let's say you're, you're eating ice cream and, and, and you're kind of like, oh wow, yeah, that was cold. And then the cold sort of goes away, that is normal. But if it lingers like, oh wow, that's really, really cold sensitive. That could mean that you have thinning enamel and it needs to be sort of like covered up with a desensitizer. That's not something that you can get in the store, unfortunately. That is something that you would have to see your um, dental hygienist for. But we do have a desensitizer. It's kind of like a little liquid where we literally just like put it on. It might take 10 seconds, it might take 30 seconds, depending on how thin the enamel is. And that actually covers up those, those um, exposed nerve um, tubules. I have to think of the word there. And then you won't be sensitive. If it's been open and exposed for a while, it, it might take 24 hours to work, but literally it, it, it can work right away. And if you have cold sensitive teeth, you, you need to be using a toothpaste for cold sensitive teeth. Don't rinse with water. Don't put water on your toothbrush because you want that toothpaste to be as potent as possible. That's a little tip for you. Another one is if you look inside your mouth and there's this big hole, so either from a chipped tooth or a cavity that you, you might not have noticed you had and you kind of look inside the mouth, you're like, whoa, there's a big hole. That should definitely be looked at, even if it's not painful, if it's not sore that hole needs to be covered up because you don't want food to get stuck in there. Um, you don't want any bacteria to get stuck in there and you don't want it to become um, any worse. If there's no pain, that's actually not always a good thing, especially if there's a big hole that probably tell you, um, tells you that the nerve is dead. If there's pain, it's kind of a good thing because that tells you that the nerve is still working. So it really does depend, but but have it checked out though, because that does need to be looked at um, just to prevent further issues. So if you guys have any questions about that, let me know. Um, another thing that I get a lot is people asking me, they might notice like little pieces coming off their teeth sometimes. It's probably not your tooth, it is probably tartar. So when plaque sits, sits on the teeth too long, so that's kind of that like off-white, off, -white, off yellow sticky stuff on our teeth that happens after we we eat and drink if that stays on too long if you're not um if you're not brushing twice a day then that becomes hard and that forms what is called tartar it could be an, an like this hard off yellow color brown color black color everybody's different it depends on how long it's been there for but that is tartar and that's the stuff that we clean off when you when you um come in for a teeth cleaning so that does have to be cleaned off at least every six months because if it actually stays there then it can make things really unhealthy it can make things sore it's not nice. So definitely have that cleaned off, but it's not the end of the world. If you're like, I keep on getting these pieces, that tells you you need your teeth cleaned, okay? Um, if you have a chipped tooth, um, even if it's just a tiny, tiny chip, it might not mean you have to be seen right away, but be careful. Don't eat on that side of the chip because you don't want it to get worse until you can see us to actually fix that for you, okay? So keep that in mind. A chipped tooth doesn't always mean that it's going to be painful, but it doesn't always mean that it's not gonna be painful either. So everybody's different, um, but definitely get it looked at so it doesn't chip further. Um, what else, you guys? Any questions so far? If there are, comment below and let me know. Um, 
I just lost my train of thought. It's not funny. Oh, I got one. Um, if you have hot, sensitive teeth, so if you're having a coffee, a tea, anything hot, and you're kind of like, oh, wow, that felt weird. It's not a good sign, you guys. You should definitely have that, have that looked at by your dental hygienist because it could mean, I'm sorry, but it could mean you need a root canal. Anything that's hot sensitive could mean that the nerve is starting to die. How does that happen? That could happen from a large cavity that you didn't know was there and it is starting to eat through the tooth. But the good news is if you catch it early enough, you don't need a root canal. Um, they can fix that up with a composite filling, something like that where you don't need the root canal. So have it looked at sooner rather than later. What if a tooth is sore to eating or pressure? That could mean a cracked tooth. Anytime you're, you know, eating something or pressure, it could mean a crack in the tooth. Cracks you cannot always see with the naked eye. If it's like underneath, we need an x-ray to see that, that um, crack. So even if you look in the mouth and say, oh, I don't really see anything there, it's probably fine. It might be perfectly fine, but still have it looked at because if you have a cracked tooth, that can crack all the way through and that's not good because if your tooth cracks all the way, um, all the way through, if you think about it, we have to take off that piece there might not be anything left, and, and then you lose the rest of that tooth. Hopefully, if you have a thin crack, they can actually fix that around the crack and then put an actual like um, crowned tooth over top to prevent it from cracking even more. So that's the best case. Um, or the tooth could be perfectly fine. You know, I have seen lots of people where they come in like, okay, every time I eat on this side, it hurts or it, it, you know, sometimes hurts, but not all the time. It could just be there is some like seed or something getting like stuck in there, or it could be a crack. So have that looked at sooner rather than later. I would say those are the, oh, one more that I almost forgot. If you're eating something too hot or too crunchy, it is so easy to hurt the roof of your mouth right there that can feel like a toothache almost. You could be saying like, oh my God, like my mouth hurts so bad. What the heck happened? Ask yourself, did I eat something too hot or too crunchy? If yes, wait a couple days because that will heal up within three to four days. If it still feels the same after that, then have it looked at because um, there could be something else happening there. Okay. Um, so yeah, you guys, I would say those are the most common. Let me know though, if you have any questions, I am very happy to help. And I will see you guys in the next one.